what's up guys welcome back to the channel so if you don't have one of the new iphones that have the dynamic island that support the latest ios 17 version today ios 17.2.1 just came out don't worry as apple has released an update for devices that don't currently support ios 17 such as the iphone 8 the iPhone 8 Plus and the iPhone X alongside some iPad models that I will be showing you. So you can see iOS 16.7.4 is out. And on this particular device, it comes in at 181 megabytes. The average update size that I'm seeing for different users is this around 200 megabytes. And this is not all that Apple released. These are some of the other operating systems updates that Apple released iOS 17.2.1 I already mentioned that and we have iOS 16.7.4 of course this is the video for that iPad OS 16.7.4 and if you are on Mac OS there's also Mac OS 14.2.1 and in case you are curious to know what's new within this operating systems or what's changed I do cover those here on the channel so do subscribe so that you you don't miss out and if you want to see the build numbers for ios 16.7.4 you can see it right there it's 20h240 now something that's different about this ios 16.7.4 update unlike most others you can see here Apple has actually told us what they are trying to resolve when it comes to this update, iOS 16.7.4. It mentions that this update fixes an issue where built-in Apple apps that have been deleted may not reinstall. So that is a bug that was existing with the previous iOS 16.7.3. But now with this 0.7.4 update that has been fixed. So if you have like an Apple application like the podcast and you want to go ahead head and uh, remove it and not just remove from the home screen but delete the app completely like this before there was an issue whereby if you go to your app store after deleting it and you want to download it there was an issue where you wouldn't be able to do that but now as you can see they mentioned that that issue has been fixed for all specific apple applications so that's good another issue that this update addresses has to do with wireless charging a number of users were mentioning that the device heats up when wireless charging so i tested this and i can verify that at least for me on my device it didn't heat up and then also when it comes to this device overall functionality i can confirm that for all the devices of course like the iphone 8 8 plus or the iphone x ios 16.7.4 seems to be the go-to update as it's not using more of the cpu and gpu and the overall device isn't heating up as much so this will perform better when it comes to uh, your device and the battery health since most of these devices like mine you can see here the maximum health capacity is overdue it's on 75 percent so if you are on an older ios version it's not going to use more of your resources which is going to be better for your battery or your capacity but this is my device that i keep in the closet and sometimes i do use it when the new update comes out and i want to test it out but you can see here this is how it is on this device now you can see here when it comes to ios 16.7.4 alongside ipad os 16.7.4 you can see the ipad models that are supported by this by the way so ipad 5th gen ipad pro 9.7 inch and then you can see the others you can see when it comes to security release notes or common vulnerabilities and exposures apple doesn't really mention anything when it comes to this ios 16.7.4 and the ipad os version and that seems to be the case when it comes to like the new versions that were released today so that includes ios 17.7 2.1 and we also got a safari update for mac and so on but yeah it doesn't seem to be more of 
a update that contains common vulnerabilities and exposures it's more of a stability fix or a bug fix update where apple is trying to resolve this issue that's affecting default apple apps that you may delete and not showing up so that's basically about it for me when it comes to this update let me know what you think and if you want to see some of the other videos that i'll make on this then definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out peace